Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and today's question comes to us from Namaste Yoga member Sean. He asks, is there any yoga that I can do for allergies? He says, wow, it's been a while since I've had any sort of allergic sneezing spells, but I can't even sit still before I start another sneezing fit. What kind of yoga could I do to stop the sneezing? Maybe there's some breathing exercises. So first of all, allergies are usually a sign of a weakened immune system. So check out our immunity boost yoga video. You can find that in our shop. There's a DVD, a digital download. And if you're a member, that video is available on our membership site. Also, cut out sugar because sugar is one of the major things that wreaks havoc on your immune system. If you have any sugar, it suppresses your immune system for four hours. So just cut the sugar. That's a really big one. Also, another thing you might want to consider is having a personalized sadhana put together for you because we could address your allergies and other things that go along with it and put together a personal practice for you for the next 40 days that would deal with your allergies. So that's also available on my homepage. There are some other things you can do. Uh, Kapalabhati breath is a great breath practice for allergies. You want to clear your nasal passage first. Um, actually, this is the speaking of clearing your nasal passage, one of the best things you can do for your allergies is to use a neti pot. The way this works is you fill it with, I always use boiling water because it's clean. So boil some water, put boiling water in it, then put salt in it so it's um, saline solution because then it's the same as your body. If you don't create a saline solution, it's really going to sting your nose. So create a saline solution, let it cool down so that it's not too hot for your nose. Once it cools down, then what you do is you put the neti pot in one nostril, you tip to the side and then it goes up and it flows out the other nostril. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's like getting water up your nose when you're in the pool. But what it does is it cleanses your nasal passages so that there isn't any pollen in there. And I know I too suffer from allergies at this time of year because of ragweed. And I do then, I use the neti pot every single day at this time of year. And I know that a lot of people that suffer from allergies have reported huge, huge uh, success with using the neti pot. So clear your nasal passages. Actually, before I started using the neti pot, I couldn't, I, I don't think I had any concept of what it was like to breathe through both nostrils. So I'm a really firm believer of using the neti pot. You'll, you won't believe what it's like to breathe after you've used this. So use the neti pot, clear your nostrils. Once you've done that, then Kapalabhati breath. So Kapalabhati breath is the active exhalation where you draw your navel back and then you relax your navel and it's a passive inhalation. So it goes like this. So that's another one where it's just going to clear any excess pollen that might be in your nasal passages. Uh, one more thing that I've heard is good for allergies is to eat honey from your local area because bees are going to gather pollen from the local plants. Um, the pollen from the local flowers and then you're taking it in in very minute qualities and building up antibodies to it. So that's my best advice to you for yoga for allergies. Finding a great yoga class is becoming more costly and difficult. Now there's a better way to self-improvement in the privacy of your own home. Visit Dr. Melissa West at melissawest.com and start getting free weekly online videos. Real yoga for real people.